17-year-old Irish teenager took his own life because of sextortion. In case you didn't know, sextortion is a serious crime that occurs when a predator threatens to distribute a victim's private and sensitive material if they don't provide more explicit images, sexual favors, or money. The scariest thing about sextortion is that it seems harmless at the beginning. A young boy, Ronan, meets a nice girl, Emily, online. They start texting and eventually they become close so close that Emily asks Ronan to send her some intimate pictures. Since he likes and trusts her, he does it without hesitation, and he'll soon really regret it. One day, Emily sudden threatens Ronan to place his explicit photos on the internet unless he gives her $3,471. It turns out that Emily wasn't even a girl, but a 50-plus disgusting man. As the boy had no money, his images were shared online for everyone to see. Being ashamed and afraid to talk about it with someone else, he couldn't see another option than commit suicide. Unfortunately, Ronan is far from the first victim of sextortionists. About 71% of cases associated with sextortion involve minors, both boys and girls, as victims. And the reason for that is simple. Kids are easier to manipulate and threaten. Most sextortion scams look like the one I've told you before. Predators pose themselves as teenage girls and boys to gain the trust of other kids, but in reality, every single predator, according to statistics, is an adult man who is targeting kids for explicit content or money. If your kid falls victim to predators, they are more likely to be too ashamed to ask for help. Until this happens, you need to educate your kid about sextortion. Explain to them what it is and how predators can reach them. Tell them about the risks of sharing intimate photos and videos with someone they can't fully trust and make them feel comfortable to come to you and ask for help if they become a victim of predators and do it as early as possible since there are cases where eight-year-olds have become victims of sextortion. Another essential precautionary measure is getting a monitoring app like mSpy. mSpy has everything you need to protect your kid online. For instance, its social media tracker allows you to check if someone's blackmailing your kid into giving them money. You can also use Files Viewer to see if they have intimate photos and images in their gallery, or if they use any dating and other apps where they can be targeted by sextortionists. Another tool is a keylogger that helps to capture any controversial word so if they search for the ways to get money on the internet or they tell their friends about suicidal thoughts, mSpy will let you know. Please remember that your kid is never too safe on the internet. Make sure you've done everything possible to protect them. Get mSpy today. I hope you find this video useful. If so, like it, subscribe and share it with other parents.